Shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel. Shalom, before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shine, by Hashem, Rukha Kadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? It's your brother Shapar, right? We out here again, you know what I'm saying, to bring out this word, you know what I'm saying, to the hopeful elect uh, of Israel, you know what I mean? Um, Prophesize the downfall of this kingdom, man, where, you know, it's all types of things going on. They got bird flu going on all over the place um it was another thing i think it was not syphilis not syphilis they got another plague that's hitting all around the world you know what i mean um the dollar is going down but meanwhile they study sending money over to ukraine to, to, to fund the war what else you got you got whole shit going on chicks is dick riding classes for fifty dollars and shit, I seen the, the, the motherfucker in prison, in, in, in prison in here in North Carolina, the ACLU was suing the North Carolina prisons because some nigga named Canautica in jail can't get his um, transgender transformer medicine. So on, on behalf of Canautica, the ACLU was suing the state of North Carolina. I read that shit like Canautica. Like, this place is fucking upside down, man. This place is upside down, man. Let's bring this word out, though. I don't know which way I want to go. Thy seed. Let's go that way. Thy seed. Psalms. Let's start out Psalms 118 and 22. Because this word not for everybody. Everybody is not going to get this. 118, Psalms 118 and 22. Everybody not going to get this word. Everybody wasn't given this word to get. You know what I'm saying? And even out of the people that was chosen, the chosen seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, even out of that, only um, one third going to get it on this side, man. Everybody not going to get this word, man. Everybody not going to get it. And that's plain to see, man. I was talking to somebody this morning, and I was like, now do you understand? They was, they was kind of upset about the um, the little dick ride class, the chick talk, charging the chicks $50, and she advertising it on Instagram. And I said, you see why? We can't take these niggas into the kingdom, man. You can't, we can't take these kids, we can't take these people into the kingdom. Let's start with Psalms 118 and let's go 18. Let's start there. The Lord have chastened me sore, but he have not given me over unto death. Open to, open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord unto which the righteous shall enter, I will praise thee. For thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refuse is become the head, headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. So they still rejecting Yahweh Shah. I seen they had a, a um, thing on Twitter. They had a thing on Twitter. If, if, if Jesus, Jesus was getting jumped, if Jesus were getting jumped, would you jump in? This is the shit my people was on there talking about. And you should have seen how many people were saying no. Trying to be funny. All the creative ways they was choosing to say no. Oh, if he could turn water into wine, why he can't save himself? If it's for our salvation. You should have seen the type of shit my peoples were saying. 
But just like we read here, only the righteous gonna come through this gate, man. Only one third of the people, the nation of Israel gonna be saved on this side, man. Cause the chick that wanna teach the dick riding class to the to the um women, she can't come in the kingdom. What we gonna do with her in the kingdom? What we gonna do with Creflo Dollar in the kingdom? Al Sharpton in the kingdom. He's still trying to fly on jets and show up and lie to you and tell you, tell you, preach white boy Jesus to you while he telling you to vote. And we ain't forget y'all was dancing and singing and crying when Joe Biden won. We ain't forget that shit neither. But now how that how that's turning out for y'all. He done sent billions over there to motherfucking um to Ukraine. What y'all get a hair? A hair bill where they, they don't discriminate against your hair. That's what y'all got? We ain't forget that shit. The niggas out here crying like he was a second coming. Let's go. Matthew 21 and 42. Start at 41. They said unto him, he will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their season. And Yahweh Shai saith unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they going to the point, man. The point is, you can tell my people that, yo, white boy Jeebus, matter of fact, let's get that out. Let's get the slot in. Let's get, let me get that picture out. Let me get that, let me get that joint. Slot it. give me one second. One second. Right here. Right here. You could tell my people all day that this ain't that this ain't the Lord. You could tell them all day that Sergio Borgia ain't the Lord. My people still love this nigga, man. They still love white boy Jesus, man. They still love him. You had to the the the, um, the video, the, the thing that's going around now is the um slot. The girl, the girl that got the arm, um, she said she ran into somebody that looked like Serge Ray Borgia in the arm um, store. And she asked him, could I take a picture with you? Cause did anybody tell you that you look like Jesus and all that shit? I post, the brothers is, uh, is posting that around now. They rejected, going back to the scripture. Let's go back to the scripture. Let's go back to it. Um, Matthew 21 and 42. Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Yeah, they reject Yahweh Shah. They still rejected him, man. You got some people, the elder out of Baltimore, did a lesson where he talking to an IUIC member, and you know the name. You know the correct name, but you're not teaching the correct name. So then you calling on white boy. If you still going in the most high and Christ blessed, you're not calling on Yahweh Shah. You calling on um, Sandra Bush. My people don't got no respect, man. You want to be called by your name, your Hebrew name, but you don't want to call the most high. You don't want to call his son by his name. Fucking madness, man. My peoples, man. Romans 9 and 30. Let's get there. Romans 9 and 30. That's how you know we the Israelites, man. We stiff necked, hard headed, don't want to listen. <laughs> Let's go, Romans. Yeah, Romans 9 and 30. And 30. What shall we say then that the Gentiles which follow not after righteousness? have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. 
and the Gentiles is not the, the other nations, man. Psalms, um, Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He only dealt with, with the nation of Israel, period. And then you go to Malachi 3 and 6. Malachi 3 and 6 clearly say that the Lord never changed. Man changed. Esau changed. 31. But Israel, but Israel which followeth after the law of righteousness have not obtained the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they saw it not by faith, <laughs> wherefore, because they saw it not by faith, but as were by the works of the law, for they stumbled at the stumbling stone. As it is written, behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and whoso, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Yeah. So we out here standing bold for the names of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. While other people, they, they just, they, they doing whatever they want to do, man. They, they putting their trust in white boy Jesus, man. And for the life of me, the people that rape, rob, murder, have buck breaking um, slave um, plantations and all of that. You think that their God is gonna come back and save you? You think the God of the KKK is gonna come back and have anything nice to do with you? <laughs> My peoples, man. My peoples. Let's go Acts 4 and 11, let's get there. Acts chapter 4 and 11. My peoples, they don't make no sense, man. Let's start at 10, Acts 4 and 10. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, not everybody, Israel, that by the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom the Most High raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you hold. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is before the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other. Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. <laughs> Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Hamashiach, with Yahweh Shah. Yeah, man. No other name gonna save you, man. Joe Biden ain't gonna save you. Elon Musk buying Twitter ain't going to save you. Elon Musk putting that damn computer chip in your head ain't going to save you. Not going to save you, man. My people always looking for a savior, though, man. It's amazing how they turn Elon Musk into a savior, man. He's an African, he's a, the greatest African-American billionaire on Twitter now. My people's just stupid. <laughs> Romans 4 and 1. My peoples is stupid, man. Stupid. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's, let's let, the, let, let the scripture. Let's see what the Lord say about his people. Jeremiah 4 and 22. Let's see that one. What the Lord say about his people. Jeremiah 4 and 22. Let's get that one. 21. How long shall I see the standing 
and hear the sound of the trumpet. For my people, it's fools. They have not known me. They are Satish children, stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. My peoples, man. This is this the Lord talking about his people. Let's get Hosea 4 and 6 to get that one. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge, the knowledge of the scriptures, the knowledge that you're Israelites, the knowledge of the name of Yahweh Shai and not Jesus Christ. The reason why we went through slavery, the reason why it was the Indian Removal Act and the and, and Northern Kingdom was damn near killed off their land and shit here in America is because of the curses of Deuteronomy. And the curses of Deuteronomy happened because we was following after these other gods, man. Following after the customs of these other nations, which we are still doing to this day. Hosea 4 and 6, my people, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power I will also forget thy children see this is what happened to us man and this is the Lord telling us man This the Lord. This the Lord, man. My peoples is stupid, man. Back to it. Romans 4 and 1. These are the things right here that the, my peoples is just not, they not privy to. How they say they're just not privy to what's really going on in the scriptures. And you try to tell them, they going to start talking about it. And I'd like to say, man, I'm still in college, man. I'm still, I'm in Bible college right now. I take notes. I watch lessons. You know what I'm saying? I study. I look up words. I read the scriptures. I'm in college right now. I've done more studying now than I've done when I was in the military, breaking down tanks, when I went to culinary arts school. So I have a pretty good grasp of what's going on in the scriptures. Then you try to talk to somebody that ain't spent 30 minutes reading the scriptures, they know more than you. Romans chapter four, verse one. What shall we say then? That Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found. For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before the most high. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believeth the most high, believeth the power, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. So you got to believe, man. You can't be just out here doing what you want to do and think that that's going to get you through there. Your actions is not going to justify you. Following the law only is not going to justify you, man. And in Christianity, y'all not even following the law. Pastor Porkchop up there dancing around telling you that the law is done away with. You can eat whatever you want to eat. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, four, four and four. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justify the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man un unto whom the Most High imputeth righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose inequities are forgiven and whose sins are covered up. Yeah, man. You got to believe, man. You got to be believe and Judges 5 and 11. You got to rehearse the righteous acts. So you got to do them both, man. You can't be out here just doing what you want to do because we get into a time where it's gonna, judgment going to start going out, man. I seen a chick. She killed her son, her two-month-old son, 
she was high on angel dust, I think, or, or, or LSD, one of them type of drugs. She killed her son, two month old, and she took it and threw it in the, uh, took the car seat, the baby and all that, threw it in the garbage, right? So she didn't get charged with murder, she got charged with something, and she was waiting to go to court, and the baby father killed her. Judgment goes out, man. Judgment goes out every day, man. Hebrews 10 and 38. Did you say Hebrews 10 and 38? Judgment goes out every day, man. Seeing a lot more mothers killing their kids too, man. I'm seeing that happening a lot more, man. Let's start at 36. Hebrews 10 and 36. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and it will not tarry. That match up with Habakkuk um, 2 and 4. Wait for it, though it tarry, it will not tarry. Roughly paraphrasing. For yet, uh, Hebrews 10 and 37 For yet a little while And he that shall come Will come and it will not tarry Now the just Shall live by faith Not by works You see that Now the just shall live by faith But if any man draw back My soul have no pleasure In him But we are not of them who draw back That's the elect Romans 11 and 7. What that what Israel searching for, the elect have found it. The rest was blinded, roughly paraphrasing. 30, um, 10 and 39, Hebrews 10 and 39. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Yeah, man. Matter of fact, let's get that, Romans 11 and 7. Let's get that. Let's get that. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest was blinded. Yeah, blinded to what's going on in the scriptures, man. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. Yeah, man. You still got people that can't get it, man. You can send them blessings. You can give them um, scriptures. And they still not going to get it, man. You cannot force this, man. It's the most high that give the increase, man. He decides who will and who won't get it, man. And only the elect gonna get this truth on this side, man. Everybody else gonna buck up on it. Romans 1 and 17, let's get that. Everybody else gonna buck up at this truth, man. Yeah. Romans 1 and 17. For therein is the righteousness of the Most High revealed from faith to faith as it is written. The just shall live by faith. 18, for the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them for the Most High have shown it unto them. See, it's the Most High that show it unto us, man. We can't do nothing. 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. 
So that go back to the election, got it, but the rest was blinded, man. But at one time, all of Israel was blinded, man. Let's keep getting it. Let's go. Galatians 3 and 11. Yeah, because we get into them times, man. You got more markers and scoffers. You got one guy come up talking about the chariots ain't real. Even though it's chariots all over in the scriptures, chariots ain't real. He tried to say the chariot. I don't even know what the hell he was talking about. It don't even make no difference what he was talking about. Galatians 3 and 10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, curse is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is just, listen to this one closely. Galatians 3 and 11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the most high. <laughs> it is evident for the just shall live by faith. See? Right there, it's clearly telling you. Let's read it again in slow motion. Galatians 3 and 11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Lord. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall doeth them. Both of them that doeth them shall live in them. So you can't go, oh, I'm good with the Lord. He just said right here, no man is justified in my eyes with the law. But you got, oh, the law, the law, where your friends is at. Man, that ain't going to save you, man. You got on fringes and you smoking a blunt. You you talking bullshit to your, you lying to your peoples. You not giving them the true name. But I got the, I'm keeping the law. No, you're not keeping the law. <laughs> you're not. Romans, I'll go back to Romans 4. And, let's get Romans 4 and 11. Then I'll go back to Romans 4 and 11. Start at let's start at thirteen, Romans four and thirteen. Let's start there. For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law. <laughs> Romans. For I be wondering, what do they be reading though? All these people that say GMS is bugged out and GMS don't got the truth. What in the hell do y'all be reading? Romans 4 and 13, for the promise that should be to the heir of the world was not to Abraham nor to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made of none effect. Because the law work of wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed. Not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. How do you get around that right there? 
Them three scriptures right there say, yo, the law is not what saved you, it's the law and faith. If it was just the law, then faith is made void. Then how do, where is your belief at? Where is your belief in, in, um, in Yahweh Shai being um, sacrificed for us and all of that? Where is your belief that, that you're Israel? Because you damn sure can't get no, no, um, no paperwork proof that you're Israelite. That, that even goes on faith. Unless you one of these oh, E1A1B1A1 DNA niggas. Oh, I took a DNA test. So all these years Esau been lying to us about who we are. So at the end, he got technology and he gonna magically start telling you, oh yeah, you're an Israelite now. With my DNA test that I gave him. Here's the paperwork to prove that you're an uh, uh, Israelite. That even is by faith, man. People don't make no sense, man. People don't make no sense. We just pointing these things out, man. Galatians 3 and 8, uh, 28. We just pointing these things out, man. Pointing these things out in the scriptures, man. Yeah, 28 and um, Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. And that's because we wasn't, I'm going to get into that. That's because Jew nor Greek, because it was a time where we couldn't even say, call ourselves. Uh, matter of fact, let's get it now. Second Maccabees chapter 6. Let's go there. <coughs> Let's go there. Because they love the day. Oh, oh, right. Oh, hold on, Israelite. Hold on, Israelite. You getting ready to lie with the scripture. Let's, let's prove it then. Let's go. Let's start at. Let's start at one and read that. Second Maccabees 6 and 1. Not long after the king sent an old man to Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers. <laughs> so you see how it's the, the chapter is starting off right there, right? Not long, Maccab second Maccabees 6 and 1. Not long after this, the king sent the old man to Athens to compel the Jews to, to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of the Most High, and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem, and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympus, and that in God, God's realm of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwell in the place. Let's go down to five. Five, six, um, second Maccabee six and five. The altar also was filled with protect, profane things, which the law forbiddeth. Here go the part six and six. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep the Sabbath days or ancient fast or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. See. So when we say not, neither Jew nor Greek, we talking to the Israelites that wasn't um, allowed, wasn't, was used to not calling themselves um, Jews. Because right here it says clearly, neither was it lawful for a man to keep the Sabbath days or ancient fast or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Okay? And then if you read further down, it goes into how they started following the customs and all of that. But right there, that proves the point right there. Now let's go back to Galatians 3 and 28. Um, Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. And if ye be Hamashiach, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. And we just read that heirs according to the promise is not justified by the law only. 
is justified by the law and faith. So that right there, everybody that's following Christianity with them telling you that the law is done away with, we done just read a, couple, a bunch of scriptures that show you that the law is not done away with. But you gotta have faith too with the law, man. Keep getting our peoples don't know the scriptures. They err not knowing the scriptures, man. Romans 10 and, 10 and 12. Let's get it. Yeah, Romans 10 and 12. My peoples do not know the scriptures. And you try to point, point, point out to these things to them in the scriptures, they buck up against it. Eleven Romans ten and eleven. For the scriptures saith, "Whosoever believeth on him, on him who, on Yahweh Shah, not on white boy Jesus." For the scripture, because it couldn't, his name couldn't been Jesus, man. Letter J wasn't invented <laughs> till fifteen twenty four, and, and 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 Jesus is a Greek name. Yahweh Shah is a Hebrew or the child of Judah, man. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. We don't want into that. For the same Lord would over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name, <laughs> upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So you gotta have the right name, man. You gotta have the right name, cause how you gonna have faith in somebody you ain't even calling the right name? That's like saying I'm going in the food lion, but I have I have faith that I'm gonna get the same the same things I get going in the harvest teeth. You not gonna get the same things. You in food lion. <laughs> They go, oh, that's not a, a good analogy. Okay, well, maybe that's not a good analogy. But you can't go into one place expecting to get something you would get in another place. You can't call on one name and expect just because I'm calling on this name, it got me covered with all the names out there. It's many names. That's what IUIC saying now. It's many names. That shit is madness, man. 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Let's get there. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols even as ye were led, and we still doing that. And we just read in um, 2 Maccabees, the sixth chapter, that they wasn't even allowed to profess themselves to be Jews. Let's go, let's go to 1 Maccabees. Let's get some in there. We was in 2nd. Let's go to 1 Maccabees, chapter 1. Let's read a couple in there. So the law, the, the, the scriptures was only given to Israel, period. It wasn't given to no other nation. First Maccabees chapter 1 and 11. Let's start there. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the, he with the heathen that are round about. For since we departed from them, we have we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so far with wherein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. So they pretty much said, forget the law, forget what the scriptures say. Let's go to Joe Biden and ask Joe Biden if we could do what we want to do. 
Let's go to pass the pork chop and ask for pass the pork chop. Is it okay if we we eat um swine's flesh now and lobsters and crabs and shrimp? Yeah, go ahead, my son. Oh, we good now. This is what this is what this is saying. Then certain of my people were so forward and were herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. That's where you get your first gymnasium from. Where Israelites was in there exercising and working out naked. Fast forward to now. They not naked in there, but the damn spandex on with the coop with the camel toe in the front and a dog showing in the back. You might as well be naked. These are all Greek customs, man. But you try to tell my people that, they not trying to hear that. You try to tell them, yo, the first gymnasium was a place of exercise where it was all men and they was in there exercising naked. This is a Greek custom. Then you fast forward, you look at the motherfucker, that video I showed with the with the Greeks in the room with their shirts off, pants down on their ass and all this shit. This is Greek customs, man. We still doing it. That's how you know we're the Israelites, man. We still doing the shit the scriptures say not to do to this day. Let's keep getting. Oh. Uh, yeah, 15. And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and was sold to do mischief. Yeah, man. This is why we end up in the trouble, in the predicament we was in back then, nothing new under the sun, and why we still in the shit we in now. And this is why, this is why we ain't in the kingdom yet. Because ain't enough Israelites wake up yet to the to the fact of who we are. Still out here wanna um chase out the Esau Bucks, man. <laughs> Let's go down to 28. Let's go down to 28. The land also was moved for the inhabitants thereof, and all the house of Jacob was covered with confusion. What you see now? Did I not mention? C C C Canonica in prison trying to get his his um his transformer medicine. Let's go. What's going on, sir? Hi. Okay. Let's go down to thirty. And spake and spake peaceable words unto them, but all was deceit. For when they had given him credence, he fell up, he he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore and destroyed much people of Israel. See? This is what led to the things that we are going through back then and what we're going through right now. Let's go 41. Down to 41. Here you go, here you go the good part. Moreover. King Antiochus wrote to his whole people, to his whole kingdom, that all should be one people, new world order. That's what we got going on now. And everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profane the Sabbath. For the king has sent letters by messenger unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifices and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the Sabbath and festival days. See? This is this is what this is what my peoples was going through. This is what they did. See, yeah, you see, I just ignores them now. They come up and everything. You bring when well, you bring in the scriptures out, <laughs> the scriptures chase off these demons. The scriptures chase off these spirits. 
<laughs> if you ain't got the right spirit in you, the spirit, the, the, the scripture's gonna run you off. You can see his, his spirit wasn't right. That's why all I said was, hey, how you doing? You gonna stand there and listen, listen. <laughs> but this is for the Israelites. <laughs> this ain't for all nations. Let's go Deuteronomy 10 and 16. Let's get that. This is not for all nations, man. This is not for all nations. Let's go 15. Deuteronomy 10 and 15. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them. And he chose dead seed not seeds, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people as it is this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have hurt, that one would have hurt, definitely would have hurt his feelings, man. Seed, not seeds, plural, singular. 16, circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. Yeah, my people still are stiff-necked to this day, man. They still are stiff-necked to this day. Let's get that one. I want to bring, I want to, let's get Psalms 147, 19 and, 19 and 20. Let's get that one. Let's get that one. Love that scripture. <laughs> I, love, I love this scripture. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is to, to stop all of the oh and the jail oh, no hell no psalms 147 19 he showed his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel he have not dealt so with any nation he have not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments they have not known them praise ye the lord yeah he only dealt with Israel, period. He ain't dealt with no other nation, man. And then let's get Malachi. Let's go ahead and bring it out. I quoted it earlier. Let's get Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. Let's see what the Lord say about changing up. And we just read about how he gave his word unto Jacob and his statutes unto Israel, right? Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. For I, the Lord, I change not. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Consumed into all the nations that we are scattered into, man. So he only gave his law, statutes, commandments to Israel, to Jacob. No other nation. And he said, I, own, I have not changed. So where did the change happen? Supersessionism, replacement theology. That's when the change happened. The people that's ruling us now changed up the scripture, changed up the covenant, and you niggas out there still following it, man. Let's get... Let's get Zechariah. Let's get let's get over there. Let's get Zechariah chapter five. Let's go there. Zechariah five and one. But they gonna get it for 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 coming up with for for coming up and deceiving my people with that with that that image of Serge Ray Borgia, white boy Jesus. They gonna get it. They gonna get it. They gonna get it. They are gonna get it. Zechariah five and one. Let's get it. They're gonna get it. And I can't wait, man. And this dude to say that the, 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 see, let's see what this sound like right here. Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. Then I turned and rolled up my up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. What is that then? What is that? What is that? A flying roll of toilet tissue? A magic carpet? What is that? 
Now let's listen to what how he described it. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So who stole us from um who stole the land from um the um the, the northern kingdom here? Who went to Africa and stole a whole people and brought them over here and put them into slavery? Who still got these same people in their possession right now? Okay. Four. Zechariah 5 and 4. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up now thy eyes and see what is this that go forth. So the angel came down and was giving him a vision. And he was showing them the future. And the future was these flying rolls, these ships coming, these UFOs, <laughs> these chariots coming back to fuck this place up, man. And we're going to prove that with the scripture. Let's keep getting it. Let's go Revelation 7 and 1. I mean, it's 1 and 7, it's a lot. Revelation 1 and 7. So this Yahweh shall when he come back, right? Now watch this. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall well because, because of him, even so, amen. So be it. So, 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 so the Lord, when he comes back, he's coming back. And, and if he was coming back and it was going to see, be some puffy clouds up there, or whatever the case may be, why is people well? Let's get Isaiah 66 and let's get that. 66 and Isaiah 66 and 15. Yeah, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots <laughs> like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Do that sound like something about cotton candy? Do that sound, that sound like he coming back in a cloud, he coming back in a the roll, a, a chariot, a cloud, but th these clouds are gonna come back and be hurting shit. <laughs> and, and then again, it goes back to faith, man. So it's not gonna say in here, it's not gonna say in the scripture that the Lord coming back with UFOs, that the Terminator made up a recent Terminator. It ain't gonna say in here the Lord coming back with UFOs and it's gonna have lasers on it and he gonna be shooting white people. It's not gonna say that. <laughs> it's, it's not gonna say that. Second Edges 13 and one. It's not gonna say that. But again, we read earlier, the election have obtained it and the rest was blind. Okay, let's, let's read this one. This is this, uh, second address 13 to 1. And so now, look at this is address. He's having a vision, just like um, and, uh, we just read in um, Zechariah. 
he was having a vision, right? Now, and the angel came to him. So now watch this one. Second Ezra 13 and 1. And it came to pass, after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there rose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Let's talk about Yahweh Shah coming back, right? We still talk about Yahweh Shah coming back, right? And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the fire falleth when it filled the fire. Like as Salakia, like as the earth falleth when it filleth the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was a gathered together a multitude of men out of the number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So now they gonna try to fight. Let's talk about they gonna try to fight when, when, when Yahweh shall come back. And beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. So what do you think that is? It done been called, well, what we done got so far? We done got it called the roll. We done got it called the cloud. We done got it called the chariot. Now we got it called the mountain. So what do you think that is? People don't make no sense, man. But I would, seven, but I would have seen a region or place where out the hill was graving and I could not because it was so damn big. <coughs> and after that, after this, I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to, to, to subdue him was so afraid and yet does fight. So the spirit, the most high going to put the spirit on them to still fight. Because hands going to be in that spirit of Independence Day. Oh shit, we see the ships up there. Oh, uh, we going to have one, one long spaceship going to go up there and going to kill all of, this is the spirit that they going to be in. We going to save the world. But then you fighting against the Most High and his angels. And lo, look at now. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his head, nor held sword, nor an instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flame breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempers. So that tell you right there that what you think, the, the um, Yahweh Shah gonna come back and shit gonna be shooting out his mouth and his eyes? No, he gonna be shooting shit out the, out the chariots. It's plain, it's clear to see, man. It's clear to see. So let's go down, let's go down to 14. Thou has showed thy servant these wonders from the beginning and has counted me worthy that thou shouldest receive my prayer. Show me now yet the interpretation of this dream. For as I conceived in my understanding, woe unto them that shall be left in those days and much more woe unto them that are not left behind. See? So he tell the, the angel is clearly showing Edris what's gonna take place in the future. And Edris is like, yo, woe to them, man. That shit was crazy what I see. This is the scriptures right here, man. But Pastor Pork Chop and his prosperity doctrine is not gonna tell you these things, man. Pastor Pork Chop wants you to stay asleep, man. Let's get Revelation 20 and 4. Let's get that. People do not understand what's going on in the scriptures, man. And it's gonna get a lot of people killed, man. Two thirds of my people gonna die on this side, man. That's what the scriptures say. That ain't me saying nothing. Would I like to see more of my people uh, make it on this side? Yeah. Do I got a choice? No. <laughs> 
Let's go Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah and for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with the Mashiach a thousand years. Yeah. But look at this part. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years was finished. This is the first resurrection. So the two thirds that's going to die, they not going to be unresurrected till that thousand year time. The one third is going to reign with Yahweh Shai in a thousand years, man. The elect, man. Everybody not going to make it on this side, man. And you sure not going to make it if you still out here running into some white boy that looked like Sergei Borgia in a damn fast food restaurant and you run over to him, talk about you look like Jeebus. Can I take a picture with you? You so fine. You not going to make it. You definitely not going to make it on this. Word. I come back, I come back, and you one of them swirlers. I come back, and, 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 and you one of them swirlers been worshiping um, white boy Jesus, and you coming over to me talk about deliver me. Man, get your ass out of here. Straight like that. <laughs> Let's go Revelation 12 and 12. What is my man? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Let's go Revelation um, 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the land and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto death yeah so you can't be worried about what esau could do to you on this side man. therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil talk about esau his kingdom his rulership for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. See, so he understand his time is coming to an end, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a grass. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, like a lawnmower. A lawnmower, right? A lawnmower. Uh, I'm like, you ain't mowing no grass, no brother. <laughs> Woo! Talk about under the curses, man. My people's is under the curses heavy, man. Let's get Job 9 and 24. Let's get Job 9 and 24. My people's, the curses is kicking my people's ass, man. We on the bottom. We make do being on the bottom. We find a way to survive on the bottom. And we happy being on the bottom. My people don't want to be rulers. My people don't want to, we don't want to um, live, we don't want to live righteous. We don't want to be on top. We good with being the laughing stock. I just was watching drill music in France. I seen a clip of drill music in France, drill music in Italy. <laughs> We like being the ones that got all this negative shit. <laughs> and, and, and we got people doing, we like that shit, man. We get off on that shit, my peoples, man. Job 9 and 24. Let's start at 22. This is one thing, therefore, I say it. He destroyeth the perfect and the wicked. If the scourge slay suddenly, he will laugh at the trial of the innocent. Yeah. <laughs> the earth is given until the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. So you know that that uh, the judges 
starting with the Israelites. Because you that, that's lined up with um, Psalms, the 82nd chapter, the 6th verse. You will be judges. So he covered up our faces. Got to hit the um, this, it's, it's rallies over there, the fake Israelis over there, the small hats. Got them over there claiming to be us. He gave us Serge Ray Borgia, white boy Jesus. Then he got the finger of God paint, where he got God looking like some pedophile Edomite up there floating around in heaven with naked little kids wrapped around his leg, man. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? Who is he? He's Esau. That's who he is. He's not German. He's not French. He's not Dutch. He's not Australian. He's not South African. He's not American. He's not Canadian. He's an Edomite. He's an Edomite. 18 biblical nations. They are the Edomites, man. Could it be some Israelites sprinkled into all the places I just named? Yes, it can. Because we look like all nations. We were scattered into all nations. But if your bloodline don't go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're done. You're going into slavery. Deal with it. <laughs> just like we dealt with butt breaking. Let's go. Isaiah 59 and 19. Let's get there. Eighteen. Isaiah. Let's start at fifteen and jump down. Yea, true faileth, and he that departed from evil make of himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Because Esau don't think he's gonna never be judged, man. He think he's gonna go on forever. That hooks up with um, Psalms 149 and 11. His inward, this inward thought is that his houses will go on forever, man. I, I think I butchered it. I gotta go get it now. I think I butchered it. Let's see. Psalms 149. Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, Psalms 149 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places for all generations. They call their lands after their own names. America, Africa. And here, you what you got? Washington, D.C., Lincoln Square. That's what they do, man, all over the place. Let's now back to it. Isaiah 59 and 15. Because he don't think no judgment coming for his ass. Yea, true failure, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness is sustained him. That's why we had to have Yahweh Shai, man. Because without Yahweh Shai, if we was just going by, if it was just, think about this for a minute in slow motion. Gave us a 613 laws. If it was up to the nation of Israel by ourselves with no help for a certain amount of us to keep the hunt of 613 laws perfectly for us to get to salvation. How long do you think it would take us to get there? <laughs> Listen, he keep it 610. He got six, he got 587. This nigga here, he got four. How long will it take us for us to, for us to meet, reach that magic mark of a certain amount of Israelites around the world to be keeping 613 laws perfect perfect 613 laws perfect we would never fucking get there 
I bet money on that too. We would never get there if we had to wait for a certain amount of this stiff neck, hard headed ass, crooked ass, shisty ass people to fucking keep 613 laws perfectly, we wouldn't get there. And you lying if you say we would. We wouldn't, cause you know how we do. We cut corners, we take shortcuts. Fucking people, man. Isaiah 59 and 18. <coughs> according to their deeds, accordingly, he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands, he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him and the redeemer shall come to Zion. See, we need a redeemer, man. And, and the redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression and Jacob saith the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord from thenceforth and forever. Okay, I got two more. So if, if we was perfect, if we could get perfect through the law, let's see, let's read what the scriptures say right here. Hebrews 8 and 10. Let's go there. Matter of fact, let's start up. Because my people stupid, man. Even the ones that know they Israelites is stupid, man. Hebrews 8 and 6. Not all. Some, but he because two thirds, and, and first Peter say that it's gonna start with the house of the Lord, but the, the people that know they Israelite Hebrews 8 and 6. But now have that he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. Seven, for if that first covenant had been faultless then should no place have been sought for the second. <laughs> it's saying it right here. You can't keep the laws perfect for finding fault with them, not with the law, for finding fault with them. He saith, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. See? So, if, if 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 we was able to be perfect with the law, it would it just said right here. For if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. We wouldn't have needed the second covenant. Y'all wish I would have been able to come here and chill out, kick his feet up. I don't gotta get sacrificed, cause my people gonna be able to get it right through the law. Go down to 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. So now, if we was able to get perfect through the law, why would he need to change it? Why would he need to write them in our hearts and our minds so we can't go on? It's a it's a um a law that even if it's a sin for you to even have a bad thought. So me 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 seeing somebody wife walking, he with a chick. I don't know it's his wife or whatever, and she got her thong showing. Got her, and I look at her for one minute, and I have a bad thought. Half a second, I have a bad. Thought. That's a sin right there. I done broke the commandments. And if you break one, you broke them all. Y'all don't make no sense, man. My people don't make no sense, man. 
Got another one, 1 Corinthians 15. Let's get that one. 1 Corinthians 15 and I think 52. If we could get right through the law, why would we need to be changed, right? Let's go 50. 1 Corinthians 15 and 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. <laughs> Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Why do we need to be changed? In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible. So we're corruptible, man. We're in the flesh. We're corruptible in the flesh, man. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. See? This is the thing, man. We got to be changed. So when this corruptible, corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Yeah, we got to be changed, man. He get a jump. <laughs> he jumped out. He jumped out. That motherfucker looked like he worked for Dracula or somebody. <laughs> like it's a casket in that motherfucker right there. <laughs> he jumped out looking, looking all suspicious. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get Ezekiel 21 and 9. Let's go there. People don't make no sense, man. Let's see what that is. Ezekiel 21 and 9. But judgment coming to the wicked that's running this place, man. And the wicked of my people, man. Let's, yeah, let's get it. Ezekiel 21 and 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? <laughs> the prosperity doctrine, yeah. I got the quiet going. We could make mirth all day. Cause, cause we ain't gotta worry about Jacob's trouble. Pastor Porkchop ain't gotta tell you about Jake, Jacob's trouble. He ain't gotta tell you about that digital grain of rice that they trying to cook in your ass. <laughs> it is sharpened, 21. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbish that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contendeth the rod of my son as every tree, and he hath given it to be furbished, that it may be handed, handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give into the hand of the slayer. Who was given the sword as a blessing? Esau Edom, Genesis 27 um, and 40. He was given the sword, the rule. We just read Job 9 and 24. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Let's get one. What's that one? Is it? It's not Matthew 10 and 6. Isaiah 10 and 6? I think it's Isaiah 10 and 6. Isaiah 10, 5 and 6. Yeah, let's get it. Isaiah 5 and um, 10 and 5. O Assyria. The rod of my anger, the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I take him, will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. So you see right there, the rod, oh Assyria, the rod in my 
uh, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. So it's the Lord. When they come and start fucking the Israelites up, man, at the end, when the hour of temptation come, it's going to be the Lord to put the spirit on them to do that, man. Because you're, you're out here being hypocritical, man. You say you believe. You don't want to listen to the men that's telling you what's going on in the scriptures. And then you running in the siege of Beaujean, looking like want to be in damn Piggly Wigglies, and you want to take a selfie with him. Because he's so fine. A hypocritical nation. Let's get back to it. Ezekiel 21. Where was we at? Where was we at in that joint? Yeah, 11. And he have given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give into the hand of the slayer. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. See? Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh, because it is a trial and what if the sword condemneth even the wrong? It shall be no more, saith the Lord of power. Thou therefore, son of man, prophesize and smite thy hands together and let the sword be doubled. <laughs> the third time, the sword of the slain. It is the sword of great men that are slain, which entereth in their privy chambers. Yeah. So the wicked of Israel going to get it. And the great men of this that's running this this world right now, the so-called elites, the so-called bankers, your Rothschilds, your Oppenheimers, your Duponts, these are the people that's gonna get it too, man. And my people gonna get it with them, man, cause they love this place, man. They love this place. They love this place. They love the system that they set up here, man, in this place, man. They love this place. Let's keep getting. Psalms 124 and 1. Let's go there. <laughs> Psalms chapter 1, 124 and 1. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, how may Israel say? If it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quickly when their wrath was kindled against us. See? So if the Lord is not on our side when, when Esau got ready to do what we do, and y'all motherfuckers just talking about the law, the law, the law. When Esau rise up to fuck us up, man, who gonna help us, man? Who gonna hold us down, man? Who gonna hold us down? Even that, you gotta have faith that the Lord, like, even if you keeping the 613 perfect, right? You keeping the 613 perfect. When the time when Esau started pushing that digital grain of rice and making everybody line up and doing the things that they do, what is going to what is going to be what you gotta have belief that the law gonna come get you. You ain't gonna just be able to read the laws and follow the laws. You gonna have to have faith that Yahweh Shai and the most of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai they gonna keep the promise that they made. The covenant that they made with us, you gotta have faith in that. You gotta believe in that. Because without faith and believing in that, then what you got? You just got the words on the paper and I'm gonna do it. That's all you got. You gotta have the faith part. You gotta have that part, man. My people don't get that, man. They don't get that. Romans 8 and 30. Let's see what that looks like. Romans chapter 8, verse 30. My people.
peoples don't get that part, man. Self-righteous, man. Let's go. Yeah, Romans 8 and 30. Moreover, whom ye did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say, what then, what then say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? For he spared not his own son, but delivered him up for all of for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? For it the Most High that justify. Who is he that condemn? It is Hamashiach that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also maketh intercession for us. So if you don't believe in Yahweh Shah, and he's the intercessor, how, like what, how do you expect this to turn out at the end? <laughs> like, like, what do you expect to happen? Do you expect them to grow a conscience and, and start acting righteous? The people that's running this world? Do you expect that? Do you see the shit they doing? Do you not understand you can't go in a, in a supermarket no more and buy grapes with seeds in it no more? Do you not understand that? These people are wicked. That's all they gonna do. Next thing you know, they gonna have um, what they trying to grow um. They trying to grow, have cows that they hook up in there and they, they, they have them hanging. They still alive and they draining blood from the cows slowly and the blood they using to make meat. This is what they trying to do, man. This is the meat that Bill Gates wants everybody eating. Like what, where do you think this is going, man? Where do you think this place is going? 35, Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, that's the powers and rulers, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Yeah, man. So none of these things I'm not worried about. I'm not concerned about nothing, man. But you got to have faith in that, man. You're not going to be justified with just the law, man. Let's get this one. Jeremiah. One and five. Jeremiah chapter one, verse five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and therefore thou camest forth out of the womb. I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Yeah, man. So the Most High already foreknew. He know he ordained. He know who's gonna be one third. He knows who's gonna be two thirds. He knows who's gonna believe. He knows who's not gonna believe. He knows who's gonna be taking selfies with fake ass Jesus. Um, um, still in 2022. And my part with that is, how how did the Lord and His people? and his son end up with leprosy. How did that happen? Leprosy is clear in the scriptures. No pigmentation is clear in the scriptures, whether looking at Miriam, and when Miriam got hit with um, leprosy for um, a week, 
seven days she was unclean and had to get put out the camp. Whether you're talking about the story of Exodus, that what the story of Miriam is, Numbers 12 and 1, I think it is. 12 from 1 down to 10. Then you got, um, I think it's either Exodus 4 or Numbers 4, where Moses put his hand in his in his breast and took it out, and it was um his his hand was white, and he put it back in, and it was the other skin again. When Esau came out, he was described as red and hairy all over. Jacob wasn't given no description because he was like he was like everybody else at that time. He was he had melanin. Like I don't get it. You could tell my peoples that. You could show them where Solomon said he was called. He was black and calmly. And, and um, Solomon said that. Job, dirty and dirty. Job is black. <laughs> you go to, um, what's that? Jeremiah. No, not Jeremiah. Ezekiel. 